Welcome back. Before we begin the video, you probably noticed that I upgraded my version of SCAR. It's now version 3.30, and you should probably do the same. Uh, to upgrade, just go to this website, scardv.com. Let's see, scardv.com. If you go to this website, there's going to be a blue button right here called, it's going to say download. Just click on that, and then download this uh, this uh, version right here, download scardv 3.30. It might be up, updated by the time you download it. It should be easy to install, and there isn't there aren't that many differences that you'll see on the surface. It just looks a little newer, and the only new window right here is the color history. So now, if you if you pick a color, it'll save the color here as well as print it out right here. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about functions. Functions are very similar to procedures. Now, if you remember how, what we learned about procedures, let's recap real quick. So procedures are written like this. You say the procedure, and then you give it a name. So let's say uh, some procedure, right? And then you say begin and end. So this procedure is kind of like its own little program. Whatever you put in here won't execute when the program starts. So for example, we said right line something, and then nothing will happen if we run this because we didn't actually use this procedure. It just we just defined what it does, what this little code snippet does. So but if we actually use it, then it'll do something. It'll do whatever whatever is inside of here, whatever this procedure does, will be executed when you call its name. So in this case, it'll print something. Now, functions are very similar to procedures. In fact, the only difference between a procedure and a function is that a function gives back a value after it's done. It's, that's called a returning a value. So, for example, if you ever, if you remember back when we learned about converting variables, let's say we have a, some text and it'll be a string. It was just a variable that we want to store a number in, but we don't want it to be a number, we want it to be a string. So remember what we did is we said text equals, and then we said int to a string, and we gave it some integer. So let's say we wanted to convert the number 5 into into a string 5, so this will, this will be, when it comes out, it'll be like that. It'll be 5, and then it'll be stored in this variable here. So before this, I just called into string a command, but what it actually is, into string is a function. It does something with 5, and then it gives back a value. That's called returning a value. So into string is a function that returns a string. It returns some text that you can store later. So that's what a function is. So now let's learn how to actually write a function. We're going to write a function that just takes uh, two random numbers and just adds them. So let's say the first thing you have to do is use the keyword function. You see here we use the keyword procedure, here we use the keyword function because we're running a function. And you give it a name. So let's say um, add 5 and 6. So this this function will just add the number 5 and 6 and give you back the result. It would be pretty simple. Uh, the, only, the difference here is now we have to tell SCAR what type of variable this function will return, what, what, what type it will get back. This means It'll either get back, give back an, an integer or a string or a character or a boolean, something like that. So in this case, we want to we want to add five and six and give back an integer. So we're going to say we're going to tell Scar, okay, this function is going to give back an integer. The rest is almost similar. You just put a beginning and an end, and anything you want to do, you put between these, these begin and end. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add five and six. So we add five and six, but we got to store it somewhere. So the way the way this is done in SCAR is SCAR has a hidden variable and, and it, every function has a hidden variable called result. Now result is going to be type integer. So whatever you, whatever you define as the type here will be the type of the result. So you can't if you define this as integer you can't set set it to high because result is an integer. So in this case it'll be five plus six. All right. So result at that when this is done, when it reaches end, whatever is inside result will be given back um, as a return value. So let's actually use this. Let's say um, we want to store the result. So let's call it sum. Be an integer. So let's set sum to zero at first. Then we'll say sum equals sum. We'll add 5 and 6. All right. So let's see what happens. Then we'll, got, we'll have to print out some. We got about that. Let's get rid of that. We don't need this for now. What we're going to do is say line 
get to convert integer the sum integer to a string and print it out. So what, what this does is this this uh, function right here, integer to string, it takes whatever's inside the sum, which is an integer, and it converts it into a string, and then it gives that string, whatever the text that it converted to, it gives that to this procedure called write line, which just writes it right here. So let's see what happens. Okay, we print out 11. So what happened is we set sum to zero. Then what we did is we said, okay, now execute this, this function called add five and six. So it goes in here. It sees that it's a function that it's going to give back an integer. And what we do here is we store whatever the result is, whatever we want to give back to whoever uses this function, we want to give back something. So we have to store it in this variable called result. And we do this by saying, okay, add five and six and store that inside result. Then when it finishes, it'll it'll give back result to sum. It stores it in there, and then we just print it. And now functions are very like I said, very similar to procedures. So you can use other procedures within functions. So if we had just had like um, so we have this and Say added five and six. Okay. And we can just use this print something inside here. Let's run it and see what happens. You can see that it printed five and six, add five and six, which is what we told it to do here, and then it printed the eleven. So what happened is um, when it got here, it said go go to add five and six. It went into here. It added the five and six and stored it in result. And then it saw this this call to a procedure. So it said, okay, there's another procedure we have to do. So it sees this and it goes back here and writes out some stuff. And then it exits and gives a sum whatever was the result. So result then goes into sum and what do we print it out? And you should also remember that you can't. A scar reads everything from top to bottom, so you can't really, um, if you have something like this, if you put print something in the bottom, you can't use it here. Scar will give you an error because it doesn't yet doesn't yet know that print something exists. So if we do this, so you get this as a compilation error. It says line 9, line 9 is print something, and it doesn't know what print something is because it hasn't seen it yet, hasn't uh, gone through it yet. And if you remember from an earlier video, we talked about how you can do something called forwarding procedure. That means if you want to use a procedure somewhere above, so for example, let's rewrite this a little bit to make it relevant for functions. So say you had something like this, print something, and this actually just added. So instead of doing it here, we'll just say print something. So we'll just call this procedure, and then what this would do, it'll have a variable called sum, would be an integer, and what it'll do is it'll just add five and six, and it'll store it into sum, and then it'll print out sum. Okay. We'll get rid of this. So what will happen here is this car will go through begin. It'll see print something. So it'll go into print something, which is here. It'll make a local variable called sum. That means it can only be used in this procedure, right? It'll write out at five and six. It'll go into this function at five and six, which is down here, and it'll do all this stuff and store it in sum. Wherever whatever at five and six gives back, it'll store it in sum and then print it out. Oh, so the problem here is same problem. Now we have on a line eleven, which is this line right here. Scar doesn't know what add five and six is because it's below. So if you remember from an earlier video, we actually did something called forwarding, and what that does is tell Scar that I did define this function or procedure, but it's actually below. So just know that it exists, but you can check it later. So how do you do functions? Is we already saw any procedures? It's procedure print something and then forward. All right. The way you do functions is almost similar. The only difference is you do function add five and six, Oops. six, and you give it a return type and then set forward. All right. So let's try that. 
oops, misspelled the right line. All right. You see it worked because Scar knows at this point when it gets to add five and six, it checks right here. Or right here, we already told it that this function exists and it gives back this integer. And we're going to define it forward means that we're going to define it later. So you just look for it later, but know that it exists so we can use it in other places. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in for the next video.